Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be an intriguing matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Chicago Bears. With that, let's get out to venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Standing by with the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. What up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? Back again with another video. Going against the Saints today. Man, still moving up the rankings. This is by, this one, if I win this game, I'll be officially 10 games over 500, finally. Jeez, I'm just drunk to that. My next goal is try to get over 20 games over 500. So this is just the first step in doing that, is at least getting to be 10 games over. All right, right off the bat, it hits me with the uh, fake snap, so I got to turn my uh, turn my aggressive rushing off, and he just stayed off for the rest of the game. I was just gonna use blitz anyway to create pressure, so don't really need it. Gets his penalty and converts for his first down. All right, from off the bat, he's gonna stick in this uh, two zero three formation, and I'm gonna send a blitz against it because I noticed earlier he his running backs went out. Just want to go out this time is to run a screen. But I got somebody watching the running back. Screens aren't really that effective this year, so I, I don't really run them myself. Every time I run them, I, that's what happens. You don't get any, get any yards, so I don't even really run the screen. So we send the heats. Third down. I'm going to play coverage here. Playing cover two out of uh, nickel 335. Just about everything's blanketed. And we bring him down. And not floored. Brings him down. All right, let's see if he's going to go for it on the fourth down. That's the point. All right, time to get on offense here. See if I can make a difference. All right, it looks like what that guy was doing yesterday. I got safeties in. So it's probably going to be some type of cover four look, which it is. What I told you yesterday's video is take everything down low. All right. You're playing the same defense again. Hey, look at this. Look at the guy I'm throwing to all the way upfield. <laughs> it's no sense, man. I can't use like L1 every time I want to throw the ball. Sometimes they love that stuff all the way downfield. But you're going to see later what I mean. Why well, I try not to do modifications to Trubisky's passing because he, he throws wild throws. Just like that. Don't feel sorry for him because I'm, you're going to see mine when my, my turn comes around. So. That's why I don't get mad in the game because like, stuff's going to happen in the game. Sometimes it's going to be to your advantage, sometimes it's not. So I can't complain when it's my advantage and then, you know. I mean, I can't celebrate when it's my advantage and then complain when it's his. See, he just had a bad pass and a missed throw there, so a missed catch. So. And that's his misadvantage. So I just got to take what the game gives. Just play as is. Happen to bring him down here on third down, take him out of field goal range, and he decides to go for it on fourth and 18. Call timeout. Call timeout. All right. Let's regroup. Because I'm sending the heat. I'm not going to let Drew Brees sit back there in the pocket on fourth down and long. So send the heat on him. Forces a throw. Knock it down. All right. I get the ball back. All right, he's really aggressive with his user in the middle. Um, I tell you, right there in the middle, so I got to manipulate somehow. So right here, I throw it to the outside. It was designed. So on the next play, watch what he does with his uh, middle linebacker. He's gonna go chase. Oh, this is not it right here. It's a different play. Let's remember that play. Get underneath. All right, I'm here on third down, I'm gonna come on the same four wide formation. Ah, oh, this is not it again. I Maybe mean, it's coming down. But here, here goes my miss throw. I had him in the right defense. It's man-to-man -man on the outside. Watch uh, Gabriel get open. Because he's blitzing that, that uh, linebacker. And I see it coming. It's a cover two blitz. Here it comes. He's wide open. I throw it. And you know what I mean? So I can't really complain because that happened to him too. You know what I mean? So you have to take the game as is. So here is to manipulate his user in the middle. I'm going to send uh, Gabriel on a slant over here. He's going to chase after Gabriel. Which in turn leaves my tight end wide open. So a good conversion here. Fourth down to five. That's Burton. And he'll be taken down, but now here's first 
All right, we're moving. Now, maybe that's one mishap with the Gabriel play. There's going to be another one down the line, so I'll show you to even get there. So we're two for two, so you can't really say it's a bad throw. I hate when your receivers get hung up on the line. He was the flat was open for a long time. I was waiting for him to get off the line so I can give him the ball. <laughs> right here was read correctly. He's playing one high, one safety high. And I figure I go, you know, go deep here on uh, Robinson. He's open. How do you recover that fast? He's playing cover two, and that guy recovered that fast. You know, to me, I think that's unreal. I would full speed ahead of me. How you come back? I'm trying to go to white here, I'm trying to manipulate his user again. So chase me up the way down the middle, but then guess what? He leaves the middle wide open. First down. First down. I'm just trying to work his user since he wants to be really aggressive with the user. So I'm running rock combination against the user. Run the ball here. So I can get anything. The stats at the end of the video is incredible. I couldn't believe I shut him down that, that much. I'll show you to you at the end. It's crazy. Alright, right here, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, like I said, his user. I'm going to occupy his user with two guys. The slant and the tight end. I'm going to go up street. Yeah. That's just to occupy his user. Let him just stay in the middle because my real route is to Robinson on the outside. He sacks me here. I know he's still going to be open because he's playing the same defense. It's just a cover four. So I'm doing the exact same thing again. And it worked out perfectly except for the throw. And this is what I mean when I was like, it happens to it happens to everybody. So you just got to take what it is. I don't even complain when I see it in the game anymore. I just move on. So I don't even complain. See, it does what it's supposed to do. Clear out the middle for me. And then look at the throw. See how wide open he was? And that's the way, that's the way he gets me to throw it. So you can imagine I'm pissed. Because I like, that's a touchdown or first down. Like I had him cleared out the middle for me. And <laughs> that happens. So, oh well. All right, the defense is back on the field. See if I can get my offensive ball back. The reason why I blitz a lot, I'm realizing a lot of people, what I'm seeing so far at this level, um, they're not reading my defenses, and they're not like executing based on what I'm doing on defense. They're just snap the ball and wait for something to, something to happen and throw the ball. So I'm not giving them the time to even think. I'm just sending a rush. Especially when he's like, like this, like he's down along, like if he's 3-15, and 15, best believe I'm coming with a blitz. Because I don't want him to sit in the pocket all day and let his receivers run up to the first down marker. You can throw it complete underneath, but I'm not going to let you throw all the way up field and complete for first down. So, you normally see a lot of blitz come out of you third and long. Which is what most NFL uh, defenses do anyway. Especially when it's critical, but I'm able to, I'm able to force the safety over there. Right here, he's playing my Robinson with his. He's playing a cover two right here, but he's gonna play Robinson with his middle linebacker. Like really? All the way upfield? I don't think so. You gash him deep. The linebacker's covering the middle, but he's covering himself. I don't know why he tried to bump me in the, <laughs> off the line, and I got behind him, and he just couldn't recover. He's gonna be able to beat him deep there. All right. Now we've, now we've opened the game up. We've opened the game up. This is cover three. Off of Nico. Yeah. You know, double A gap. So cover three off of it. Still playing the same thing again. Just cover three. Just cover three. Rushing off the edge. I'm able to get to him. Alright, we sack him again. Because like I said, I'm blitzing again. Third and long. I'm not gonna let you see back in the pocket. He throws underneath like he's supposed to. Converts, and now it's still fourth and fifteen. I'm still calling the same blitz. Shut the guys up. There you go. Force it again. Make a few pass. So he put himself in a hole. If I, I would have just punted the ball. Since I'm having such a hard time moving the ball on offense, like why put yourself in the hole? So, they go play action here on first down. Dumps that off. Oh, Jordan Howard. And here, Hunter, get him out in the flat and let him have a chance to Try make run the ball here. Open field. Gotta go, gotta go. 
This is Howard. Oh, man. Six D doesn't really block too well. Not on the run plays. Goodness, the guy's killing me. It's a good play call. He was playing uh, old receiver and then X is up field wide open. Right out in the middle of the field. Score again before the half. Now I'm off 16 0. And he's still having a tough time. And I get the ball back. Oh, it's not looking too good for this guy. So he goes for the outside kick. And right here, I couldn't switch over. I couldn't call timeout. I couldn't audible. I couldn't do anything. So just had to take whatever happened, happens and kicks the ball out of bounds. But that's annoying. It doesn't always happen that way, but man. It does get frustrating. Here's the play I was trying to show you guys earlier. Right here, I blocked my running back. And so <clears throat> I really wanted to go deep because of the way safety is lined up. My safety bumped up, so I couldn't throw that pass. So, yeah, my, my read was out of way, so I throw it away. All right, so now I'm going to send my running back out. He's actually playing man, so it kind of killed me there. So, since I blocked my running back, I didn't know out. So, I'm going to send my running back. I chase after my running back, and he leaves the middle of the field again wide open. Just by design, man. Just by design. That's what he did last time. He stayed in the middle because my running back was locking. So, I sent him on the route, and he chased after him. Creating open space for me in the middle. And because he's playing this wide open thing on his in his line, see how wide open they are? When he only has one linebacker playing in the middle. I'm noticing now after this pass, I noticed it. So I was like, alright, let me switch running backs. So I'm gonna bring uh after this play, I'm gonna switch running backs. I'm gonna bring uh Howard back on the field. Because you see he only has one linebacker playing in the middle. That's just a recipe for run the ball. Here's the first carry 75 new holes block. All right, so all good. I was like, he was pulling too, so there we go. I switch Howard back in. I watch what uh, what what happens to the my center does. Since I'm not pulling anybody this time. See that? Get out of my way. I'm only running just because how he's lined up on defense. Makes sense to run the ball. I was gonna run it again, but I see now they're stacked in for the center. All right, let me switch plays. I figured he'd be blitzing like a man blitz, so I, I call for my tight end over here in the post. Figured the safety was playing against him, but he's actually playing cover two zone, so he threw me off right there and I got sacked. All right, that's fine. So second and seventeen. See the way the middle the middle of the field is wide open. One linebacker. My safety's gonna get that linebacker, so I just gotta run the ball up the middle. There you go. Go ahead. Block. Get out of my way. That's why I'm running it. I'm running it because of the way they're aligned. Same thing over here. He's still open right behind the middle of the field. Although he's shifting his line. He's still one guy in the middle. See, he's still one guy in the middle. So I'm just running up the middle. See, you can still read the defense when you run the ball too. Just keep that in mind. And that's running off of shotgun. Just depending on how they're covering the middle of the field. He shifted his linebacker all the way over to the left. And he left one linebacker in the middle. So it's just like the middle of the field is wide open. All my line I got to do is get past the line, and I'm, it's all free daylight over there. Same thing over here. It's still the same thing. So I try to run a, a draw. I mean, I should just run a regular inside zone. But I was trying to throw him off by running like a delayed handoff, like it was a pass play, but oh well. It didn't work out like my advantage. If that, if that lineman didn't pull off from the side and beat his man, I think I probably would have ran a lot. But right now I'm noticing... Well, I mean, I don't really have much to go by. So I go to the fourth quarter. Start this thing over again. From what he's been doing on offense, there's nothing that I can really be afraid of. So all I'm going to do is run the ball and kick the field goal. If I score off the run play, then I just score off the run play. But I don't. I, I need to increase the score. And one thing I don't want to do is create a turnover over here and give him a chance to get back in the game. You know what I mean? So I'm going to run. I'm just going to do three runs. And if I get in to run the ball, then I just get in. And if I don't, and I just take the field goal. Just make it a three-point game, three-possession uh, lead. So that's the idea of me running the ball here. I, I didn't want to be too aggressive. Just put it on the ground. Because he hasn't really shown anything on offense, per se. I don't think he's really moved the ball. So I'm just running the ball here. He has a run defense, so which is good, but... No it's just to run the ball. Play, My mission was accomplished. I was able to run the ball that third quarter and I wasted a lot of time. So when he gets on offense now, he's going to be doing hurry up and throwing the ball every down. So I'm not really afraid of the run. I'm not afraid of the play action because I know he's running all the time. I mean, he's passing all the time. He just doesn't get him anywhere. Runs out of bounds for a one yard gain. Or no gain. All right.
It's Boogie. Second there. Third and 17. I need to blitz and play coverage. Boom! Fourth and 17. He's going for it. Coming with the heaters. Coming with the blitz, man. Coming with the blitz. Oh, thank you for not diving. Thank you. Just made the tackle. Just run the ball again some more. Oh, good run. Good run. Just keep put it on the ground and run. And that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts. The game was essentially over after that third that third quarter. But now is the time to start. If I was him, I would have kicked the ball deep and just try to stop him. He just made it worse for himself. Doing that onside kick. Sometimes you gotta trust your defense can do something. That's like having no faith in his defense. Doing that onside kick. All right, Skemp a lot here, and uh, he's playing man. All oh, my guys are running over to the left on their, on their routes, so they clear the right side of the field for me. All right, I'm up big, so he has a minute now to try to do something. Right now, he's just playing for pride, really. He's got to score. Can't leave a zero on the scoreboard. And I don't want to give up any touchdowns, so let's go. Nothing's going to be open deep, so all that's just... Yeah, that's gonna be open. I'm giving it stuff underneath, but I'm not gonna I'm not giving up anything deep. Everything underneath is it's all yours. Take all the stuff underneath, that's fine. I'm not giving up anything big. I need you to waste waste time off field. If he makes a big completion here, it'd just be somebody just gonna have to make a play. Somebody's just gonna have to make a play for him. There you go. I don't think so. Second and ten. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone, and especially against deep balls as we That's right, everything. I might just run out of bounds. You can save yourself some time. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that. I don't think so, my friend. I don't think so. Fourth down and seven. Let's see what he does. Can they do it? Can they convert? I don't think so. That's it, man. It's really a wrap. Put the ball on the ground. Call the day. All right, guys. A lot of shutouts. Hey, if you're new to my channel, try watching all my videos all the way through. If you need, like, because they're like they're gems in the videos, so you have to watch the video and understand what the story of the game is and what it is I'm trying to show. So, and just watch how I play certain defenses and how I'm attacking certain defenses and how I'm playing defense. So, you can get something out of it. And if you got questions, hit me up in the comments section. You know what I mean? So, I say most of my subscribers that have been here for a while, they already know what I do. So, if you're new, hit me up with questions. If I have time, I'll try to respond. I do respond to most comments. And until next time, fellas. Oh, yeah. Hit that subscribe button for me one time. Bang! And until next time, I'll holler at you dudes later. I then one record at the end of the video. Laters.